What's up guys, it's Instinct here, and today I'm showing you guys how to do this splice effect on a logo. I did a pretty similar effect on text a couple months ago, and that video did pretty well, so I thought I'd show you guys a similar effect, but using it a completely different way. This tutorial does not require any plugins, you can do this on any version of Cinema 4D, and I'll also work with text and a logo. So with all that said guys, let's get right into the video. Right, so what you guys want to do is you guys want to go to File and go to Merge, and select your AI. Now if you guys do not have an AI, you guys need to go to Photoshop or Illustrator, trace out your logo, and then save it as an AI. You can also do it in Photoshop if you guys would like. But yeah, go ahead and select your AI. So for example, I'll be using the Phase logo, which is right here. And just go ahead and click OK. Right off the bat, I'm gonna go to coordinates and change the X and Y to zero. So it is centered. And from here, what we can do is we can go ahead and get an extrude and just drag the spline right into the extrude. And then from here, we'd go to objects and we can change this to, I'm gonna go with 40, click enter. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and click this box right here and go ahead down here, bottom right and click this box and this will change your view to front. Now from here, what you guys want to do is you guys want to go ahead and hold down right here and get the pen tool come over here and click this button right here this will enable snap and you want to enable quantizing right here so that when you click you can hold shift and it will kind of lock on to each little box like so you can also go ahead and turn on midpoint snap and edge snap and vertex snap if you guys would like this is what i have turned on but really all you guys need is this one. So from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just go ahead and make basic shape similar to the phase logo. And I like going in and doing it kind of a bit like offset, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna hold shift or you can just go ahead and make sure you're on the this block right here. And you should get a perfectly straight line. And then so just go ahead a little bit and just click like right here or so. And go down a little bit. Um, let's say like that. It's good. And you can kind of do this and just kind of bring it back. I'm going to go like this. Now this is a little bit tedious because sometimes you don't get your um, angles matching up like this. So I think that is looking good, like so. So you guys kind of have like a little parallelogram right there. And now what you guys want to do is go ahead and click off, and then go ahead and click again, and it should start a new spline. So basically you guys just want to keep repeating this process. And as you guys can see, if I show you guys the main one I did, you guys can kind of see the effect already starting to happen. Uh, as I just kind of cut out some shapes like so. So yeah, there's our shape and we can go back into the front view and just kind of do this a few more times. So again, I'm gonna do um, kind of like a similar shape as well, um, right here. And I'm gonna click like this, put it right there cause that is parallel. And um, maybe go over here and do something like this. Um, like that as well like so and I think that is looking good I think that's parallel um, and yeah you just guys want to keep doing this and you know just get some really nice shapes going on um, and just kind of overlap it um, over the phase logo a little bit like so for example down here click right here um, yeah, click right here, go down like this, just kind of follow the shape. Um, I'll do something like this this time, maybe. Like that. So, and then we can go ahead and do maybe another one uh, right here. Right here. Go up, or actually, I want to do something like this. Um, I think something like that could be pretty interesting. And maybe go, instead of going a little bit overboard like I have been doing, maybe go uh, a little bit short. Um, and 
do something like this. I'm gonna hide this camera like so, um, just so I can see this. And another important thing to keep in mind is slope. So just make sure you have a uh, two two slope here or like a one one slope. So up one over one. Um, so go down two over two, and that will kind of help you um, with your slopes, making sure they're parallel. But um, I actually just realized that I need to go down once more. So I'm going to hit Control Z and just kind of bring this like this. So that this should be, if I go down or down to and over to, that it should line up like that. There we go. And I did five shapes um, on the original one. I'm going a little bit smaller on this one. But generally, I would say probably like five shapes. So probably make it, maybe make them a little bit bigger than I can't. Um, am here uh, with these two middle ones uh, but yeah so for here I'm gonna kind of do what I did last time and just make this like like this like a triangle and maybe we'll do let one last one um, um, something like this we'll try to find or follow the same uh, slope like this. I'm just eyeballing this, but you can just kind of tell if it's off or not. Um, and you can also really, if you really wanted to, just kind of count the um, the blocks. Um, and do something sort of like this. Back down. And yeah, that's basically our effect. Now, I accidentally did this all in one spline, apart from this one, which is alright. I actually did that on the original one as well, but I found out that it's a little bit more customizable if you guys do it on more than one spline, but if you did it on more than one spline, that is fine. So now what you guys want to do is you guys want to go and the, uh, click this button right, right here, and just go back into the perspective one, and go ahead and just grab an extrude, like so. And I'm actually going to have to grab two of them. You want one for each spline you have, um, and again, I kind of messed up here, but it's all right just go ahead and drag the spline in like so and drag the other one in like so and just make sure these two extrudes or all the extrudes ultimately you want to have one extrude per spline um, but because I messed up I only have two but just go ahead and select both of these and just put them both at 80 um, and the reason we did that is so that when we put the materials on like for example I'll do uh, like the uh, silver one right here and click cubic and seamless and then I'll do the red one on the other ones and you guys will see exactly what I'm doing in a minute here um, actually hold control and that will kind of duplicate the material onto the other extrude but um, ultimately you want the um, the splice pieces and the regular phase logo or your logo or text or whatever you're using um, different materials so that you guys get the dual material effect and then move the um, the shorter one which is this one the one with 40 centimeters um, into the middle so it should just be 20 centimeters like so and it is centered like that and that's basically the effect now hold or now just select the bottom one hold shift select the top one hit alt G that will group everything um, go to mesh, go to access center, click access center, check include children and all and use all objects, click execute. And that will this should center the um the axis. So when you go to rotate it, it's rotating from the center. Um disable snap, otherwise you'll get some weird snapping um factors. I guess that could be useful. Um, but I generally like rotating it freely. Now from here, it, you're basically done. Just find a nice angle, like so, like maybe something like that. Let's see what this looks like. So I'm gonna invert the materials because I want the um, the iron like that. Just do this. See how this is looking. But um, yeah, from here, what you guys want to do is go ahead and click this gear icon, this edit render settings. Um, if you guys want some 4K, just do 3040 by 2160, um, and that'll render in 4K. Go to save, and just save this as whatever you want. I'll do like phase tutorial. Like that. 
and go ahead and close this out and click this button and it'll start to render and that's basically it for this video guys if you guys like this video please make sure to comment like and subscribe and comment below what other videos you guys would like to see with all that said guys it's been an instinct signing out for now peace